Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Dirty Derbs YouTube channel. And tonight we're gonna be working on the Firebird and maybe the S10. We've got some pretty exciting stuff going on over here tonight. Um, it's raining outside and there's not a lot to do. So I decided to tear into some stuff. So if you don't know, when I bought this car, it was a 305 700R4. And I drove it like that for a while. But when I was ready to make the change on, let's, let's say on Monday, it was a running driving car. I took all week off of work and I LS swapped it with a turbo and everything like that. And I was racing it on Friday night. So I built this car, I put this car together in four or five days. And um, now I'm kind of paying the piper on that deal. So I would really like to get heat back in this car. Um, so we've got this going on and I'm not super stoked about it. This was all bundled up in the factory um, wire loom and stuff like that. And I was kind of ready to thin it down. So I'm kind of going through all this uh, just to put heat back in the car. That's all the wiring that I've gotten rid of so far. So that, and then you'll notice there's no whirly bird on there. Cause I got some new toy. So, uh, if you know me or if you're local, uh, I always run the on three turbos, the 78, 75s. To me, they are the freaking cat's meow. Uh, and I kind of just got comfortable. Even the S10, when I was ready to make more power, it was single and I just added another one of these. I made it twin turbo. Um, and I just, I kind of get comfortable with one thing. When I know it works, I stick to that thing. Well, I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and I did the VS Racing 7875, the Gen 3 unit with a billet wheel. And um, quite a big difference. The So the reason I went with this turbo is that the hot side is uh, pretty much the same in, in, a, in a sense. I was looking for something that I could bolt on and make a little bit more power. And supposedly these make about 100 more horsepower than the Gen 1 of this version. So, you know, we'll, we'll say this is the Gen 1 version of the VS. So, uh, bolt on 100 horsepower for 750 bucks. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Um, and the reason that I went kind of a, a bolt on unit deal is because I don't, the way this log manifold is set up, I don't have a lot of space over here. And I've already kind of hammered this in a little bit to make room for that turbo. So, um, I did test fit it on there. It's a perfect fit. And so with that, you'll see that I have to change my, uh, oops, nice, cold side pipes a little bit. Look at the difference that is. That big unit, look at that small unit, it's a lot. So this was my old charge pipe off the turbo and Basically, when I was putting this car together, I threw on whatever I had. Like, whatever was sitting around, I could use, and I did. This is the charge pipe. I didn't even bead lock it or, you know, bead roll it or nothing. This is steel pipe. It was probably somebody's exhaust pipe that I used. Who knows? Um, so I went ahead and just ordered a, a aluminum intercooler kit. Just a generic deal. I got a whole box on Amazon for 140 bucks or whatever. But, uh, so now we'll, instead of running a boot and a steel pipe, we'll probably just cut this deal here, weld a V band on it and it'll V band straight to the turbo and try to get rid of all of the steel pipe on the car that we can. So we're going to work on that tonight. Oh yeah. Also, uh, this heater box that I think is like, I don't know, plastic or something, but eBay, $18 uh, because this was an AC car, had a, the big AC box. And uh, basically I've been rolling around with this plate of steel screwed to the firewall to keep the uh, all the air from getting in there and nasty smells and whatnot. So finally I get to take that off, put this unit on. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to that tonight. This, I mean, this stuff may get bundled up for now uh better than what it was 
until I can figure out how I'm going to use all this. I don't really care if there's multiple speeds. I really just want some heat in the car. So even if it has one speed, I'm cool with that. Uh, we're going to get this turbo on though. That's what we're going to do. So we at least get this turbo on and bolted up. It did come with a new gasket, so we'll get rid of this unit. Uh, also, I'm pretty excited. This is like Christmas. The converter came back for the S10. Circle D cut this unit apart, and uh, they said it wasn't too bad in there. Uh, it did have a cracked bearing, they said. And then they went through and freshened up the rest of it. I'm not sure what kind of voodoo magic uh, goes on inside there or what they freshen up exactly. I don't know if it's a stator or the clutches or what. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I just know that it's new and it's shiny. So that's going to go back in tonight too, I hope. We'll see how far we get with some of this stuff. So, okay, it's enough blabbering. We'll uh, get this turbo on here and get this thing rolling. Okay, well, she's on there. Looks pretty sick. Already uh, have ran into some snafus. Went to tighten down my clamp and um, that thing chinged its last chong. I've probably used the uh, impact on it one too many times. So now the threads are stripped, typical. Um, trying to put the oil return line on and it didn't exactly fit in here like it's the way that the turbo i guess is positioned it's really really tight it's so tight that i had to file down the sides of the fitting on each one on each side to get it to fit in there also i was uh trying to get these guys like if i could just take this off and put it right here that would, that would have helped me out uh, because one of these um, clamps were down at the bottom and that was taking up, you know, that much space. So I took it off and was hoping I could move it up one bolt hole. Nope, can't be that easy. It's off like eighth of an inch. So um, maybe I'll grind each one just so I can do that. Grind a hole out and um, or I just maybe I won't run the one on the bottom. It's probably got enough on there. So... And we'll get this guy tightened down and then put the uh, oil feed on there. And then we've got a decent amount of space for this 90. Once this guy is moved over here, this uh, charge pipe will come up here and 90 up into this V-band. So yeah, we'll keep rocking and rolling. I'll have to put another V-band on it, tighten down the bolts, get this return on keep chipping away we are making progress here so this thing is all bolted up the oil lines are on uh, I will have to get a new v-band clamp no big deal I actually think I've got one in my truck um, I just made my first cut on this pipe here on this charge pipe looks like I'll have to cut a little bit more off no big deal but another deal is this hood situation so we are gonna make contact so we got to open that hole up just a little bit more 
which is a pretty long process. I had it real tight fit last time. It was basically just uh, like four hours of me fine tuning these holes and making them bigger uh, slowly and slowly with a die grinder. So I'm gonna open this deal up, try to make it fit nice and pretty. It's gonna take a while, but it'll look cool. And the old turbo was powder coated black because I kind of liked uh, the intake was also, you know, powder coated black. So it was just kind of, it almost blended in with the hood, but you can, you know, see a little bit of turbo. Um, I might just leave it bare right now and uh, show it off a little bit, I suppose. So. Kind of climb up in here. Oh, shit. Okay, I've been at this hole for maybe half an hour now. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time to try to get that thing dialed in. It is close. Look at the fitment on there though. I will have to, of course, open it up just a little bit more. This motor, do, this motor, this motor does uh, rock back and forth. So um, on the last turbo, I left a gap about this size and uh, you can see it <laughs> the motor started rocking started scraping the turbo tore up the powder coat so I will have to give it a little more space even though it looks pretty cool and high and tight like this but it'll start tearing stuff up so I'll keep opening it up right through here and right through here on this side it's looking pretty good though I'm pretty happy with it Okay, day two of our little uh, turbo adventure here. So this is where we're at. This morning I went to the store to buy a three inch V-band, aluminum V-band for this deal. And of course, get back, this is not three inch, this is three and a half or something specific that you have to buy and order from uh, VS or somewhere else. Well, uh, homie don't play that. Uh, I'm not gonna order a special V-band. So the three inch V-band that I bought is going to get welded on there. Whoop, see you later, nerd. Um, I'm gonna cut this flange off and weld on a regular three inch V-band. Uh, I do believe that the inside diameter of this deal is three inch anyway, so it'll be fine. And uh, we'll do that. Also, I had to open up this hole. Uh, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Uh, it was kind of crappy looking in there anyway. And then I took off my catch can. I don't know if you've seen in the last video, um, this car, ever since I put this on, uh, it tends to just lose water. And mostly because this is not a coolant catch can. This is like an oil catch can. So the coolant hose was going in here and the tube inside here does not go all the way to the bottom. So uh, basically when you shut the car off, it might fill this thing up, but it'll suck it back down. It'll suck it through the tube and back into the radiator. Well, it was not doing that. So basically it would fill this tube or this you know canister up and then just push the coolant out of the external holes once it was all the way full and eventually causing the radiator to be low on antifreeze. So finally fixing that. That'll be nice. And uh, hopefully today we'll be ripping in this unit. Remember when I said I wanted a bolt on turbo so I can just like put it on and go? There's not really such thing as like bolt on stuff. So, you know, you just gotta do what you can with what you got. <laughs>
Looks all right. Looks good. Hmm. Decent. Looks really good. got this unit on here Tyler welded this up for me uh, the v-band on both sides on the turbo side and on the cold side pipe he ran out of time so I had to just uh, put some 90 degree boots in here instead of welding one aluminum piece all the way down to make it as neat as possible but that's okay uh, the roads are getting pretty dry and I'm ready to go rip this thing the wiring I just tied up for now uh, you know, it's not really cold today. Not too worried about the heat at the moment. I got a new turbo. I'm trying to see what that be like. Also, I got another new toy. Holly just came out with the five inch dash for the Terminator X. Uh, this is your normal three and a half inch screen. What's way cool about this deal is that it comes with a GPS unit that plugs in plugs right in comes with the micro SD card so you can log right from this unit to um, the seven inch screen that I have in the s10 makes logging a complete nightmare uh, if you know how to make that work cool but it sucks and I hate it uh, so what's cool about this unit which I haven't tried yet but you should be able to just go and set up a button and log right from the screen saves it to this memory card and then you can plug that memory card in your computer and look at your tune so i am super stoked about this uh the firebird has not had any speedometer in it whatsoever and oh the best part about this whole deal so for the whole thing the screen uh the cable to plug it in which is obvious and then also the gps 400 bucks four hundred dollars gets you that and that is way better than the nine hundred dollars that you'll spend on the seven inch screen and then the additional 150 to spend on the gps for that so for 400 bucks you get a bigger screen than the three and a half gps and the logging feature score so i'm working on putting this in right now i am pumped uh i goofed so I was all excited. I hurried up and plugged in my screen and then it said, blah, blah, blah. It's not compatible with the software update. I'm like, of course, so I need to update it. I updated it. Well, it updated the software in the computer and I'm still on version one stuff and it updated everything to version three. And I did not realize it did the, uh, computer not just the screen so i completely erased my whole tune uh which really sucks um so i'm sitting here trying to start it and the fuel pump's not kicking on and then basically i uh got the laptop out to hook the laptop up to it and then i realized that uh it was all on version three and i was like oh shit so i goofed now i gotta build a whole new tune for this deal which um, I'm not very good at, so I'm going to try that out and hopefully I can go drive this thing. Okay, so I went ahead and just built a whole new tune on the wizard on this new screen. Made it 10 million times easier somehow than doing it on the laptop. Don't ask me questions. I don't know. I'm not a tuner. Uh, but I did get it to work.
pretty neat. Uh, I will move it, of course, from here. I'm gonna put it whoop, right in the middle of the dash and uh, of course hide all the wires and tuck it all in. Uh, but it does come with a suction cup on your, for your window, so pretty neat. We'll leave it there for now because I wanna make turbo noises guys that's pretty much it for the video uh my first impressions of the turbo were kind of uh wishy-washy only because i can't really rip on it because of the tune so that'll be kind of a different day i guess uh it is super loud makes awesome noises so that's always a plus uh honestly this screen this freaking five inch screen is like the coolest thing that i've ever seen uh it's 10 times easier to use than the three inch and the seven inch screen. Uh, even just like the, the sensitivity and everything, pushing the buttons without the stylus or anything like that is so simple and so easy to set up. I cannot wait to get it, you know, in the dash and sitting in there nice with uh, all these wires tucked away. So I'm gonna work on that. And uh, definitely did not get to the transmission on the S10. This project took, took way longer than uh, I definitely thought it would, so. But it, all in, you know, it's good, it's fine, so. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I'll catch you on that next one.